The Times has 7,000 pages detailing how the White House has been lying about the Vietnam War for 30 years. The story is about the importance of truth and the details of truth, not just the broad strokes of the story. Let's do our jobs. Find those pages. This is really the story of Kay Graham, played by Meryl Streep, coming to grips with what her place is going to be in the grand history of the Washington Post. She was the first woman to lead a Fortune 500 company. So you can see pictures of her with all the men around her, and she's the only woman in the room. 1971, she has been running it for eight years. But my mother was fearful that she would make a mistake and destroy the company. Okay, people are concerned about having a woman in charge of the paper, that she doesn't have the resolve to make the tough choices. Thank you, Arthur, for your frankness. Women were still a little bit invisible at that point in time. And the focus of history came to rest on this particular woman's shoulders with the publication of the Pentagon Papers. Do you have the papers? Not yet. Ben Bradley was a newspaper man through and through. He loved to find the truth and put it out and let people decide for themselves. You're talking about exposing years of government secrets. The way they lied, those days have to be over. There's this quote from Ben that the truth, no matter how painful, is never as bad as a lie. If we don't hold them accountable, who will? We can't hold them accountable if we don't have a newspaper. She had an immense respect for him, and he trusted and respected her, and therefore it worked. If the government wins, the Washington Post will cease to exist. What are you going to do, Mrs. Graham? Through this huge event, you watch Catherine Graham find her voice to risk her fortune and the company that's been her entire life. Well, I think that's brave. Ben Bradley and Catherine Graham created the sense that the Washington Post could and should be the other great paper in our country. What will happen if we don't publish? We will lose. The country will lose.